Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and this is the Polisher from Polymaker. It's an all-in-one unit that uses isopropyl alcohol and diffuses it into this disco cloud that melts, smooths, shines, does whatever it does to the polysmooth material. Polysmooth material is a filament that prints fairly similar to PLA. Same temperature, same bed treatment. But what you do is you, you then put things in this machine and it's able to smooth them with the idea being any, any layer lines that you see in a standard print, rather than sanding them away with your time and energy, the poly smooth material is able to melt a little bit using the isopropyl alcohol and create a smooth model. To turn the polisher on, you plug it in and then you hit this button right there. The lights start to come on and everything looks pretty cool. There is a button right here that opens it. So this clear plastic housing around it has little gaskets that it sits on to keep the isopropyl alcohol inside. This mechanism lifts this platform up from the depths of the machine and allows you to put the model on that you want to smooth. It has these little, it comes with two of these plates and the reason they have these little conical structures on them is so that something that you're smoothing sits on them rather than flat on the plastic. Plus it's removable so you can take it out and let something sit while you put the other thing in. So it's got, see it's got two of these. So you could actually smooth something and let it sit and then once this is done you can switch and swap and move it around and smooth everything you can ever dream of. The polisher will accept anything that fits from here to here. And this, this low poly flowalistic model of Donkey Kong does fit. The issue though, is you have to bring it in like this to get it in. If you wanna take it out, once it's done smoothing, it's, it's liquid, it's isopropyl alcohol. So the outside is wet and you don't wanna to touch it. So to get it out, you then have to be kind of creative with how you get a model out this way without touching it. For smaller models, such as a rocket, you can put it in just fine. Once it's done, you can lift it out and there, there's no issue there. That part works just fine. So what I had done is unboxed this live on my YouTube channel. I ran into an issue where it was wetting the bed. It turns out what I was doing was incorrect. So I took, I took this and I was dipping this in isopropyl alcohol. And when you add it to the back, there's a, there's an infuser, there's a diffuser. It's a diffuser. And I was priming it. I was only supposed to put in a couple drops, but I think I emptied, you know, more than I should have into it. Then that overflowed and went out the bottom of the machine. So now it's interesting. They don't actually recommend you prime it. You know, they don't recommend you putting the drops in. I still do because I've been doing it that way and it seems to work just fine. But they said if you fill the reservoir to the line with isopropyl alcohol and you count to 60, it should be just fine. First, you may be asking yourself, well, of all these models, why do you have all these green flowers in front of you? That's a good question. So this flower right here, this Lego flower, I love this thing. I love this model. This is an example of the model printed with poly smooth material and nothing else. It had some wispy hairs just from settings on the machine. And I used a heat gun for a couple seconds just to contract the wispy hairs. But other than that, this exists as it is to show you a control of the poly smooth material. This one is similar to that one. But what I've done here is left the wisps in place. And I'm gonna put this in the polisher to see how well it's able to handle this model and the wisps themselves. This, I wanted to find out how well the polisher would handle a sanded model. And I know it's supposed to smooth things, but depending on the size of your layer lines, it could still provide you an irregular smooth surface. So what I did is I used some 220 grit sandpaper and I smoothed everything I could to hopefully give the polisher a head start. I just want to see what's going to happen. I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. I've yet to polish anything that's been sanded. So that's why this is here. Finally, what I'm going to do is take the models that I have smoothed of these flowers and I'm going to take them down to the garage and I'm going to prime one. I'm going to, and I'm going to paint one and then I'm going to prime and paint one just to see 
what happens. I want to see how well poly smoothed material is able to take paint. Well, it looks like we do need to start smoothing these models, so let's put them in the polisher. Uh, let's see, like, like this. Maybe like, oh, like, oh, I don't think they'll both go in at the same time. It's good to know. So this one, this is the, this is the Lego flower right here. Go down into the machine and we're gonna smooth it. This dial on the front of the machine controls the machine itself. When you turn the dial, it does light up. Each light on the dial represents five minutes of polishing. Mm-hmm. 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 There we go. It's down in there. I'm gonna turn it to four lights. That'll give me 20 minutes. So one, two, three, four. It beeps. You see the light come on right here. You see the isopropyl alcohol mist start to fill the chamber. And that's just gonna run. All right, I'm gonna let this run for 20 minutes. I've got my GoPro and you're gonna see a time lapse. So if you're ready, uh, time lapse. All right, it looks like it's done. 20 minutes went by, let's open it up. It helps to hit the button, you actually press it and you don't just graze it. I helped. So here it is. Uh, there's a little bit of fluid on there. Just uh, the, the isopropyl alcohol. Uh, what I will do is get a paper towel and I'll set it on that. So there we go. This is it. Polished. I'll set it down right here. Now what we can do is, is take this platter and put the sanded flour on it. We'll let this go for 20 minutes. Um, also, I misspoke. Originally, I thought I was gonna use these as comparisons for holding paints and primers, but uh, it's best to let the isopropyl alcohol itself finish what it's doing and let it sit out, and I won't have the time to wait for that. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're going to test primer and paint on low poly Donkey Kong and on the Adelinda uh, Dragon by Luby 3D. Yeah, these are gonna be my primer and paint test subjects. In fact, well, let me just start this and then we'll go paint these. All right, that's going right now with the sanded flower. I'm gonna take the GoPro I'm gonna take Low Poly Donkey Kong, and I'm gonna take the Adelanda Dragon, and we're gonna go play with paints. While Donkey Kong and Adelanda Dragon are down in the garage playing with paints, this finished. Let's get it out. <laughs> All right, again, there's just a little bit of rubbing or the isopropyl alcohol. Dab that off a bit. Put on the paper towel. Right, uh, right out of the gate, I can see that sanding has had a positive effect. Wow, that's freaking smooth. So here we've got the control. Here we've got the non-sanded, and this is the sanded. So um, first, let's take a look at the non-sanded. And, and you can tell that the smoothing process did accentuate some of the layer inconsistencies. The petals and the flowers them, themselves, they look good. Let's take a look at the sanded piece. The sanded piece is really interesting. The sanding process has added to the poly smooth's ability to be smoothed, in fact, Looking at the stems of the flower, 
it's smooth. It is super duper smooth. Wow, that's, that's really cool. All right, well, it looks like we've learned that sanding a poly smooth print prior to putting it in the polisher is actually beneficial to the smoothness overall. Um, let's go check in with Donkey Kong and Adelinda. All right, these actually turned out really awesome. I'm quite impressed. So there's Adelinda right there. Still, the paint's a little bit tacky because it hasn't had that much time to dry, but it, it does show me uh, something very cool. Here's Donkey Kong. Uh, let's first take a look at Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong had some primer. It looks like primer can be applied to the smoothed model without any sanding needed whatsoever. That's pretty cool. Uh, so for Adelinda, obviously this was just paint on top of the plastic. It would need multiple coats, but you, you get a chance to see how the paint uh, spreads. And on the parts that are smoothed, it's glorious. It looks so incredibly cool. In fact, I, I may continue to paint this Adelinda just because it would look really cool in this red. Very shiny, very, very cool. All right, so let's finish this up. Where does this leave us? We know that the polisher works. We know that the poly smooth material is able to be smoothed with isopropyl alcohol. This machine facilitates that process by producing an isopropyl alcohol cloud of mystery around a rotating model and then the knob itself selects the amount of time to expose the model to that cloud of isopropyl alcohol. It works. It works incredibly well and it does exactly what it's supposed to do. The smally, the, the smally, the poly smooth material itself prints like a PLA. That's not an issue. The polisher is able to smooth the material but uh, you do see some inconsistencies in layers on the Donkey Kong. You do see some inconsistencies in the layering on the non-sanded flower. And those are issues that I don't think are inherent to the, pro the material itself, but more so the configuration of the printer using the polysmooth material itself. I bet with some calibration and dialing in and further, we wouldn't experience something like this, but we do, and I wanna make sure that's seen. Sanding the model is awesome and produces incredible results. So we've, we've got our control piece, we've not sanded, we've sanded, we've primed, we've painted. Well, the conclusion to me is this is a neat machine. And originally when I got this machine, I hadn't really done much print finishing, so I didn't think this was for me. I thought it was neat, I thought it was good for some people, but I didn't think this would be for me. Now that I see the effects of finishing a model and putting it in here to smooth, or possibly smoothing it and then taking it out to be able to prime it or paint it, I could see a properly calibrated printer producing models that once smoothed would save me hours in sanding and priming and painting and sanding and sanding and sanding. You do need a properly calibrated printer and you do need uh, the ability to produce uh, a print that can be smoothed properly. Sanding does help. It's just, it's just isopropyl alcohol and it's a cloud of it. Could you do it yourself? Sure. You could apply the isopropyl alcohol to a model. You do run in the risk of not applying it evenly. That's just something I guess we can test over time. But for now, this machine at 299 US dollars isn't for everyone, but for the people that can use it, they will greatly benefit from it. All right, you know, this is available at Amazon now, so I'll put a link down in the description. Of course, it's an affiliate link, so if you buy it, from my link, I'll get a couple Scooby Snacks. The Poly Smooth material itself as well is available at Amazon, and I can, uh, I'll put a link down there as well. Uh, finally, I did want to address this. I had seen some uh, issues from Kickstarter backers who had not received their units yet. I did see uh, on the Kickstarter for this, uh, Polymaker left a comment detailing some of the issues with the remaining backers that haven't been fulfilled and they, they detailed where they're at in that process. Um, if you're a backer and you haven't gotten yours yet, I, I really hope it gets to you soon. I find it to be neat. I don't have any answers. If you have any questions about the Kickstarter campaign or those units, you will have to follow up with Polymaker directly. All right, let's call it good. Hey, you know what? Smoothing is fun. This is a neat idea. 
Uh, it's not for everybody. It's just kind of cool. I hope you get the chance to use this or see one of these models in person because the, sm the poly smooth material, once smooth, has a feeling like no other. It's just crazy. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. A big thanks to my patrons who support me and a big thanks to everybody who lets the ads play. Finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, high five.